hey babes welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing all right if you are new thank you so much for coming by and if you're not welcome back so today i'll be doing my annual spring summer wardrobe switch over i did that for fall and winter unfortunately i did not film it but however this time around i decided that I wanted to show you guys the process, how I store my winter clothes, how I pretty much organize my wardrobe to accommodate the spring and summer season coming up. Um, as you all know, spring is in full swing. The, the weather is getting really nice. So I decided to use this opportunity to do my wardrobe switchover. So if you want to see how I do my wardrobe switchover for the spring and summer season, stay tuned. So the first thing I do is open up my wardrobe as you can see. So I'll start by taking out every single thing out of my closet just so I have an empty canvas to work with. This is a process I thoroughly enjoy doing, especially for the four different seasons. For those who don't know, I live in Canada, so we do have all four seasons. So by organizing my closet, this allows me to see exactly what I have and avoid over shopping. So once I've taken everything out of my closet, as you can see, I have many boxes which contain all my summer essentials, starting with shirts, skirts, blazers, shoes, etc. So I'll start by emptying each boxes one by one. I'll also be trying on some of these clothes just to ensure that they still fit me because I do not want to be storing my closet with clothes that doesn't fit. The whole purpose is to reorganize and vamp up your closet. So in one corner, I've folded all my sweaters like um, winter essentials and I've started hanging all my shirts, summer shirts, dresses, and um, cardigans, etc. So this is what I'm doing and once that process is done, I'll start by reorganizing the, um, the side of my wardrobe which I've just emptied. After removing all the winter items, I'll start by organizing all my summer shirts, spring and summer shirts. So in this section, I'm adding all my linen shirt, dress shirt, um, a basic t-shirt, cardigans, as well as couple dresses. Um, and I'm also having a little dance break. I don't know what I was thinking, but... <laughs> So yeah, so this section is mainly for my tops and then we'll move on to the next section. Moving on to the next section of my wardrobe, the method is more or less the same. I'll start by removing some of the items that I no longer want to keep for the spring and summer season. And that include darker shade denims, uh, leather trousers, um, and some skirts. And also some items that doesn't fit me quite well, so I'll be donating them. And that is pretty much the only thing I do for my um, bottom section. Moving on to outerwear, so in this section I am storing all my winter coat, so that would be heavy wool coat and um, some trench coat, so pretty much everything will be going into this tub, in exception of three um, trench coats since the weather is pretty unpredictable. And I've also put aside some items that no longer fits me, which I'll be donating. Similar to my denims, my blazer are also a year-round item in my wardrobe. So as you can see, I'm just organizing them back into my wardrobe. Obviously, I had to try them on just to make sure they fit properly or if any of them if I wanted to donate any of them so once that part is done I'll go back and place them one by one and I also um, organize them by color I color coordinate I'm a bit <laughs> OCD and I think it looks more visually appealing in my opinion <laughs> 
fast but at least it's time to organize my shoes so the way i work i try them on and uh, whichever shoes doesn't fit or i haven't worn in the past three months i will donate them for my most worn spring summer shoes i will place them in my main wardrobe and whichever other shoes i don't use as often i will place them in my second wardrobe that concludes my summer spring wardrobe switchover hopefully this video was useful and until next time bye